This is Songs That. It's a website like Pandora. Um, you can choose between different categories such as taking the day off, exploring obscure sounds, popular genres, easing the tension, or working with lyrics. You can also search as what's popular. And these are um, popular playlists. You can do one of any of these that are trending, one of the 20. You can also do um, this week's popular playlist, one of these 20. Or you can also go to this year's playlist, also throughout this year, which has been trending. Um, also, you can search through just browsing all of them. You can search through genres, activities, moods, decades, culture, and record store clerk. And you can look at all the different genres. And we have activities. Just ballroom dancing, being creative, on the beach, um, dance party, formal dinner, gaming, getting high, getting lucky, lounging in a cool hotel. Um, if you want to do moods, maybe if you're feeling classy or energetic or introspective. We can choose from those, or we could go back to decades, 2012 through this year, we can go back to the 2010s a couple years ago, or we could go back all the way to the 1930s. Or I'm sure if you want to just search something else, we could probably search um, a name, and I'm sure some of Carrie Underwood's songs would pop up. We got American Idol when she was on American Idol. Um, some movies on her Christmas stuff. And then all of these are playlists created by people with Carrie Underwood in it. And then here are some more with Carrie Underwood songs. Now you don't have to sign up, but you can always sign up. Just have an account to save all your music, maybe what you like. But you don't have to sign up, so. You can just simply come on to www.songsa.com and type in what you'd like to listen to or search for what you'd like to listen to and create your own playlist. You can also get this on your iPhone, your Android, or a Kindle Fire. So it's very easy to use and it's very helpful. And if you want to use this in education, you could use this um, during class. Some teachers like to play um, music every Friday. This is just an example. Um, a teacher used music every Friday to make sure all her students were just calm and at peace every Friday because she would test them on Fridays. And so when they come in on Friday and listen to the music, they would just be more calm and ready to take the test. So that's just an example of a way we could use music in education. So I hope all you guys check this website out and find it very useful.